Hi, hi Amanda, it's getting late and oh my goodness, you are so accurate, so spot on. And I am truly honored that you did this reading for me. Thank you very, very much and I want you to keep doing them, okay? Especially this way, you gotta admit that um, when you do them via a video, it's a lot easier than trying to type them out and stuff. And it, I think it happens more organically, you know. It happens at the moment. That's why I like video on them. I mean, I tried it first. I was kind of shy. And I tried it first. Yeah, yeah me shy. <laughs> you can tell us later. I get, I'm starting to get really goofy. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, I, when you're first starting out, it seems easier to just type things up. But I really like doing the videos. It just seems so much easier because that way the information comes down into your third eye and just comes out your mouth it doesn't have to go through your brain into your fingertips and that way you don't have to worry about you possibly adding your two cents in it just flows okay that's why i like doing the videos so i hope you don't mind but i wrote down some notes i i uh first i watched it all the way through once and then i kept pausing it to just take notes about it because it was Oh my God, those cards were just so spot on. I, I guess I'm a pretty awesome person. <laughs> That's funny. I wish I knew me. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm getting loopy. Okay. Um, but I have to admit, I'm probably the weirdest chick I've ever met. Uh, so you said you had issues connecting. I hope you burn white sage. If not, you better get some and burn it. You can probably get some at Amazon or any metaphysical shop. Uh, burn white sage, and I want you to, to, you know, smudge it and put it around your, um, what I like to do is, like, I'll, I'll burn white sage and let it go all around my, uh, my cards, okay? And when I, oh, I'll probably do your reading tomorrow, and I want to show you something I did with, I didn't cut the line at all, but I'm going to, like, crochet it and make it shorter because you'll see I, I can, I like to wear it in my hair, when I do readings with an alligator clip. I'll show you tomorrow. I'm, I'll modify it a tiny bit because I like wearing it. You know, it sounds weird, but it helps me connect. And I believe that you should do anything to help you connect. Another thing that helps me connect is my bling here. And this I wear a lot of the time. What you see here is a chain of silver. It's a gift from Vicki. I've got an amethyst cross, gift from my husband. I've got a crystal cross, a, a gift from a very sweet young lady named Cassie. She adopted me as her mother <laughs> just because of she saw me online. And I got a Saint Anne charm, an Archangel Michael charm, and three dolphins, another gift from my husband. But, you know, like f four of these items are religious in meaning, and it helps me connect with them. Okay. It's like crystals and things and I'm not wearing one right now but you'll see whenever I do a reading I wear a bracelet that's actually a crystal rosary bracelet and um what's her name come on Kathy you're silly oh Billy Billy sent me uh an angelite pendulum and I I've known how to use a pendulum but I didn't like the angel the uh, answers I got in the past so I stopped doing it and I, I mean, I tried doing it with the pendulum, doing the answers, and I didn't like the answers it gave me about death and stuff. So I just wear it as a bracelet, and I really love it. So I want you to find things like that, bling and stuff that will help you connect. Because you think you're, you say you're not, you say you are having issues connecting. So I want you to try those few things. Whatever helps, whatever tools you can use to help you connect is what you need. Um, another thing I'd like you to try, you say you got several decks, and I'm not trying to criticize you, but I think what you should try to do is, for, when you're doing readings for people, I want you to find your absolute favorite deck, just one that you love, 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 love. Pick a deck you absolutely love, and I want you to memorize it. I want you to take each and every card. This is what I did. I, I didn't use a book. I used an app. My, I've got three decks, but I really focus on the one deck, the uh, Healing with the Angels, Doreen Virtue deck.
deck and I've got her app. So I took each and every single card and I did this a couple of different times. I took the card and I took, I had the free app and then I paid for the full app and I looked at the card and I read the mean and really looked at the card and I tried my best to memorize it in the picture and stuff. And I don't mean word for word, but just get the gist, get the meaning. So that way, instead of looking it up in the book, you have the gist in the, and trust me, my memory doesn't, it's not that great, okay? I have two actual old-fashioned regular tarot cards, and I, I was interested in them, but I just couldn't memorize them, and they just didn't feel right to me. And they had some scary cards in, in tarot decks, so... Um, I, I mean, you do whatever you want with these recommendations. You don't have to do anything with them. It's just my opinion, right? But I recommend you find your favorite deck and memorize them. And that way you can do the video and look your person straight in the eye, put your little twist. And, and two, when you get the card memorized, it will flow more organically. Okay. Let it flow. Um, excuse me a second. I'm thirsty. Hold that thought. Just let it flow. <clears throat> okay. Do -do -do -do. Oh, another thing. Burn a white candle. Just make sure you never fall asleep when there's a candle burning because that's number one cause of house fires. And... What I always do with my readings is I ask God and my guardian angels, and if I do a reading for someone else, I'll say, Dearest God and our angels, please come here right now and please use me as a conduit or a, and use your own words, of course. Just please come here right now and please tell us anything that you would like this person to know or any. Please tell us right now anything you want a man to, to know. Just just please tell us, okay? I mean, I do that. And when you do that, it's like you're giving them permission. you got to give them permission. It's free will. I know you said you blessed your cards and said your prayers, but this is just something that helps me. It's all about free will. Just, hey, I love you guys. Thanks for everything. And please come here right now. Use me and abuse me and tell Amanda anything you want her to know, okay? It's just something that works for me. It's not, this shit ain't hard. It's not rocket science. Believe me, I'm blonde and Polish. I don't do things difficult. Um, let's see. Trust the information that's coming to you. You need to accept your powers. Be confident. Okay? I'm saying that because I'm, the words that I'm writing down here is I'm talking about, I'm kind of like following along with your sorry something came up i'm following along with your reading i pause it and then i take notes so <clears throat> oh and here's a question for you too when you do readings do you have them all twist do you when you do the readings do you all do you mix them all up so that there's a possibility of them going upside down because that's the nice thing about a physical card i like it that way that's just something I've read a while ago. When you when you have a card that goes upside down, that clues you in that there's a blockage, a problem, an issue, something to work on, okay? So if you're used to doing readings and your cards are always facing the exact same way, straight up and down, I recommend that you try twisting them around, get them all shuffled and mixed around. And that way you'll really get a little better feeling when you do a reading for yourself or someone else. Let them go upside down, okay? Try it. You might like it because that just gives you an extra clue. And you can do your readings however you want, of course, but like me, I always like to do present, present, future, fuck the past, over. I don't have a time machine. I can't fix it. But present, present gives you information about what's going right on right now. I like to know a little bit about what's going to go on in the future. And, and I tell people straight, this, this, this is just... I'm trying my best to help them out, to talk to you and help everybody out. But, I mean, this stuff is not written in stone. The future's not written in stone. It all depends on the choices we make today and from now on. Um, okay. 
Uh, great progress, the second card, Gabriel. Important relationships with people. Oh, I'm on 10 minutes, so you got, we got to stop and go to the next one. Here we go.